Hey, what's going on guys? I'm just here with Coop again. Hey. It's uh, day three in Brazil for us and we've been hitting it pretty hard. Been riding every day. Uh, we've kind of got a nice little routine going. We wake up, get a session in, come back, get lunch, get some hammock time in and then get an evening set. We've got about, uh, I think, seven days left on our trip or something like that. A couple more days in Taiba and then we're going to be heading south to the uh, Kite Mansion to link up with Colleen Carroll and Sensei Graves as well as Alex from the uh, Kite Park League. Hey, what's going on guys? So it's uh, day six here in Brazil and we just got here to the Kite Mansion where we're linking up with Colleen Carroll. Hey guys, uh, so stoked to be here. We just arrived at the Kite Mansion and I've never been here before even though I've been coming to Brazil for I think seven years now. But we're gonna have a Kite Park League event here starting in a week, which we're all really excited about. So we are headed down to the Kite Park that Alex Mays and Anna Luce Lamertz built and we're gonna check While there are too many riders pushing this side of the sport to cover in one episode, it was epic to see this crew in action. This week, we're catching up with two female riders who have been a part of this movement since the beginning, Colleen Carroll and Sensi Graves. Colleen has been a professional kiteboarder for seven years now, riding for Duotone Kiteboarding. I first met her in Taiba about seven years ago when she was just getting started. It's been really inspiring to watch her career blossom. Currently, she's focused on the Kite Park League and growing this side of the sport. Her aim is to win the Triple S Invitation again. With less than favorable conditions last year, she's hungry for some redemption. Yeah. Something I've noticed with kiteboarders yeah. is regardless of what they've accomplished, there's always a next level. Whether it's the next trick, the next trip, or something more. And no doubt we've all experienced this with our kiteboarding. With Colleen having made her entire career on kiteboarding, she's focused her sights on using her station to spread awareness about environmental issues. She also frequently gives back by running women's kiteboarding camps with Sensi. I'll include more information on that in the written blog. Speaking of Sensi, Colleen wasn't the only rider I was catching up with. Sensi Graves has been an inspiring female figure in kiteboarding equally as long. When I met her down here seven years ago, she was just getting started in her kiteboarding career as well. But unlike everyone else, she was also starting a bikini business. Today, thanks to consistency and effort, her career and business is thriving. While watching the crew ride here at the park, it got me thinking about a video request that I've had on my list for a while now. That is, wake style versus freestyle. I've already written that video up, and I'll be filming it next week with some friends from our local cable park. Kiteboarding borrows from many sports, including wakeboarding. The style of riding here is by far the best example of wake style that I can think of, but there is a lot more to it than that. Stay tuned, and we'll break that down in the coming weeks here. This trip to Brazil was one to remember. As much as I enjoyed my time in Taiba, the Kai Park is beyond incredible. With the conditions, the vibe, and the features, no doubt I'll be back next season for longer. We wrapped this trip up filming with the ladies in the lagoon. It was great catching up with these two and hearing about their journeys and future goals. It's inspiring to meet two people who have turned their passion for kiteboarding into a career and a platform to do some good in the world. If you want to learn more about Colleen and Sensi, click the eye icon and you can read about them in the written blog, and I'll include more information about their gear picks and the camps they run. This is the last leg of my journey, and it was time for Kristen and I to head back home. Well, all right, that's a wrap, guys. It's been a good week. 
you know, we got a lot of riding in, a lot of filming. Kristen managed to land her uh, rail at a revert. Yeah. Yeah, so nice work. So we're just waiting for the uh, taxi to come get us, and we're heading to the airport, and uh, it's actually snowing back in Michigan. So we'll uh, see you somewhere warm the next time on Sessions.